Hello, I'm Professor, and today I will talk about the force of drag and its application for parachutes. Drag is often described as friction in fluids. While it is similar to friction in that it is a force resistive to relative motion, it behaves differently. This can be seen in the basic equation for the drag force. The equation says that drag force is directly proportional to a drag coefficient, the density of the fluid, the cross-sectional area upon which the fluid acts, and the square of the relative velocity between the object and the fluid. Some vigilant viewers may recognize that the equation includes terms encompassing the kinetic energy for fluids. This is because the equation is based on the stopping of relative flow and hence change in kinetic energy of the particles of the fluid. The drag coefficient is therefore one proportionality constant as to the degree to which flow is slowed. This depends on multiple factors, including shape. You will notice that the shape also may result in secondary effects, such as disrupting laminar flow. A useful application of the drag equation is in parachutes. Here, the size and shape of parachutes can be determined both in design and control. For example, the area and shape can be different between drogue and main parachutes and can even be changed during flight with control of holes and angle of attack. Here is a quick numerical example. Suppose a skydiver has a total mass of 90 kilograms, including her gear. She opens a parachute of drag coefficient 2.0 with a 21.5 square meters in area at an altitude where air density is 1.2 kilograms per cubic meter. What is her terminal speed? To derive this, we draw the free body diagram and declare that terminal speed means no further acceleration. The drag force has to equal the weight. Solving for the unknown and plugging in with units gives a terminal speed of 5.85 meters per second. For comparison, this is about the equivalent of your speed if you jump down the height of a grown person. There are many other useful applications of the drag equation, including aerodynamic and hydrodynamic designs, where the shapes are optimized depending on particular use. Drag is just one of many considerations for these. Thank you.